Hey there, YouTube Pipe community. Michelle Baruch coming at you from a spectacular Friday, Wisconsin afternoon. I uh, hope you guys are well. I've been looking forward to doing this video all week long. Uh, so I almost delayed it. Something's still in the mail. I don't have it to show you, but I'm going to do this video anyway. It just means I get to do another video later. Uh, so before I get going, Today I am smoking my Alpha Freehand, my Israeli briar here. Still loving this pipe. In it, I am smoking some vintage Syrian. So, 100 sub giveaway. I'm ready. Almost. Stuff's in the mail. Um, So I've been planning for a moment, or two, or a few weeks, uh, what I wanted to do in my giveaway, because this community has been very, very good to me. I am could not be more thrilled uh, and more amazed by the people I have interacted with and met and talked to um, here in the YouTube Pipe community. Um, this is this has been an amazing ride the last three months so as some of most of you probably know uh, but in case you don't you know I packed my first pipe with my first to pipe tobacco and smoked my first bowl in my first video on March 25th 2018 it is now mid-June 2018 and I have, I think, like 108 subs. Um, a lot of people helped me along the way. Obviously, there were a lot of videos that I watched to learn how to smoke a pipe. Uh, a lot of the things that I knew from cigar smoking just don't carry over. Um, but there were a lot of influential early presenters that I watched, like Derek Tant and Mutton Chop Piper and uh, Unicorn Piper, who helped me learn some of the techniques and trip tricks and tips um, to get to where I am now. So thank you to all of you. And there were a lot of people who offered me a lot of encouragement early on too, like I'm a wrench, uh, who is a lovely guy, uh, and a few others. And of course I've developed some friendships like with uh, Andrew Cerigliano, also known as the Bluefin Piper, and with Lesra312 and um, some others. Um, and I'm just really thankful. So, all that being said, all that gratitude needs to be paid back. So I uh, got together a few things. This is just the beginning of what I will be giving away. So I, uh, I do have a tin of this to give away. It's the first thing that I ever bought to store, to seller and keep and age. Uh, so I'm going to give up one of my tins, my original tins, from that. I also am going to include some Dunhill Elizabethan mixture, which I have not reviewed here. Um, an amazing tobacco. Uh, I will also be including from my favorite brick and mortar store here in Milwaukee, a store that's been here since the 30s, some Yulee's blend. It's called Bishop's Move. It is a Latakia extravaganza. Those are the tinned tobaccos uh, that I will be including. I'm going to be including a lot, a lot more. Um, I have a lot of things that I'll, I'll break off a piece for my friends um, and you'll just have to find those out when you win. There's also some other things I plan to include some of our local amazing roasted coffee uh, from right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from Collectivo and some Penzi's Spices, a local spice company that is family owned and has been here since 
the dawn of time uh, and have been very good to my family in both cases, the coffee and the spices. Um, so I have some exciting stuff. Now the pipe, there is a pipe I'm giving away. That's what's in the mail. Uh, a little uh, shenanigans happened in the mail. I eBayed a pipe. I won it. I paid for it. He shipped it. The day after he shipped it, he sent me a message saying, I shipped you the wrong pipe. <laughs> Could you please ship that back when you get it? And I'm shipping the pipe that you won now. Uh, so that pipe will should arrive probably to my workplace where I receive my packages, either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, so I don't have it to show. Uh, but hopefully that just wets your whistle a little bit. So uh, let me relight my pipe here and then we'll get to what the giveaway is going to be. Ah, uh, this vintage Syrian. Yummy. Okay. So, I, a uh, couple things. Obviously, you have to be old enough to smoke tobacco to participate. And it goes without saying that you should be a subscriber of mine before you participate. Um, at least I hope that goes without saying. But I said it, so there you go. Um, let me see. I'll, I'm, I'll ship to anywhere in the world. Uh, whoever wins, I'll ship it to you. I don't care if it's the UK, South Africa, South America. I'll ship it to you. If there are duties or taxes incurred or customs stuff... I'll leave that to you, but I'll pay for the shipping. So, um, this contest is only going to be open to people who make video responses, and I'm not saying that to be elitist. I am brand new to this still. Uh, I think that you can do this too. If you would like to participate in this giveaway, I want you to make a video response, and I want you, after you're done, to post that link in the comments below, please. Uh, and then that way, I won't miss you. Uh, sometimes, I think with these giveaways, people's entries don't happen because uh, the video didn't appear in a search. So I don't want to miss a single person. Here's the thing, though. Okay, I'm making everybody do a video response to participate. If you've never made a video, a tobacco review video before, and it's your first one and you post it, let me know in that comment because I'm going to give you extra weight. So I'm kind of being a stickler in making people make a video, but if you haven't made a pipe smoking video before, then I'm going to give you four entries. Everybody else will get one, uh, but you got to make a video. Um, and I have some really good examples of people who are great, and they they had been people who participated in the uh, YTPC, like making comments and stuff before, um, and then they started making videos. A perfect example, smoking X Gun X. Um, they had been very involved. They knew everybody on Instagram and on YouTube and made comments and already had a lot of connections and a lot of friends. And when they started making videos, um, people loved it. I loved it. So if I can do this, if they can do this, you can do this, okay? So, uh, oop, my screen closed, here we go. Um, so, what do I want the VRs to include? I want them to include, um, where to go? <laughs> three, three, Shout outs to uh, YTPC presenters that have 150 subs or less. The reason I'm doing that is because these sorts of shout outs are how I ended up with 100 subs. Uh, I had one day I had 24 subs. Cobbett of the Shire mentioned me on like a Tuesday, and then Wharf Valley Boy mentioned me on like a Wednesday. On Thursday, I had 50 subs. So those two guys alone gave me half of the people who became aware of me. Uh, and I would like to do that 
for other people who are new to this and uh, it was such a great feeling so let's spread that great feeling the oh so here's one thing that'll be a little different so I got the three that's a pretty standard VR question shout outs to three YTPC people with 150 subs or less but I also want your number one YTPC I'm gonna call it YTPC hero uh, the person that you either admire the most or who has made you think the most, taught you the most, entertained you the most. Um, I want to hear those people because they're definitely worth following too. Um, and then for the third thing, and I'm I'm kind of co-opting an idea from Lesra three one two, sort of. Uh, he had people give him some Chicago love, um, and it was really entertaining to watch. Now, I think, I think that he was thinking a lot of people hate Chicago. Uh, I think he was braced for some, uh, some ribbing, and he got a little bit, but... It was very sweet watching people tell their Chicago memories. So, I don't necessarily want Milwaukee love per se, though that would be great. What I would like is for you to pick something about Milwaukee um, to share. And specifically, if you can find really offbeat things, like I love Milwaukee slang. Even before I moved here, I looked up strange Milwaukee slang. Uh, some of my favorite ones being that, and this is kind of a Wisconsin thing in general, but Milwaukeeans call stoplights stop and go lights, um, obviously. The drinking fountain isn't isn't a water fountain, it's a bubbler. Uh, and there's a historical reason for that that you should Google. Um, but my all-time favorite Milwaukee thing is calling cash machines or ATM machines time machines. And it's not T-I-M-E, it's T-Y-M-E, take your money everywhere. And it's a brand of cash machines, but people around here still call ATMs, time machines, and when I first moved here, I had a lot of fun asking people where the nearest time machine was, and they'd be like, oh, turn left at the bubbler. Um, it was great. So any offbeat, wacky thing that you can find out about Milwaukee, uh, include that in your VR to me. Um, I think people will think it's hilarious and amazing. Um, and uh, and that's it. So those three subs, a hero, and a Milwaukee thing. Those are the three requirements. So what am I giving away? I am giving away the Bishop's Move. I'm giving away a tin of the Vintage Syrian, which there are only a few left in the world now. I saw one at Yuli's today. Uh, so they're still in the stores, and you can still get them probably at tobaccopipes.com and a few other places, but uh, what's out there is the last of what there is, and they're starting to go quick. A tin of the Elizabethan mixture, and of course, some um, Milwaukee coffee, some Milwaukee spices, and anything else I feel like throwing in. So I hope that's an exciting gaw for you. Uh, I am certainly very excited and very honored to be part of this community and to have over 100 sub subscribers now. That's just an amazing feeling. So, oh, I sh suppose I should say when this is all due. So, you know, today is, it's mid-June right now. It's like June 15th, I think. So let's, let's bring this to Bastille Day. So... 14th of July, 2018, midnight, my time. Um, so I'll use the, whatever the timestamp is on the comments below where you post the link of your VR as your timestamp for the entry. And then I'll, uh, I'll pull winners from those people. So I hope you guys think that this giveaway, uh, this VR opportunity is fun. I've had a lot of fun doing the few VRs that I've done. Uh, and I will show the, the pipe that comes uh, in a few days when uh, the Postal Service delivers it to 
to my office. So you guys have a great Friday. Um, be well. Zeigesund. <laughs>